We are here today in solidarity with the people of Palestine as we challenge the ongoing dispossession of their lands by the State of Israel. We also need to recognize Canada as a colonial settler state and the ongoing dispossession of indigenous lands here. Therefore, it is with humility and a commitment to solidarity that we acknowledge that we are part of Treaty 7, living on the traditional lands of the Blackfoot Confederacy. Calgary is also home to the Baytown Region 3. Today, November 29th, is the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. It was on November 29th, 1947, that the UN, without Palestinian consent, partitioned and divided Palestine, and gave more than half of Palestinian territory to European Zionist colonialists. Since partition, ethnic Israel has ethnically cleansed Palestinian villages and towns, killing thousands and dispossessing and displacing hundreds of thousands. Since Israel's 1967 invasion of the West Bank, Israel has forcibly and brutally occupied and colonized almost all of the Palestinian territories in violation of international law. Instead of respecting the law, Israel has built an apartheid system, a 440-mile, 26-foot tall apartheid wall, and hundreds of military checkpoints at the wall and throughout occupied Palestine. It has created segregated roads and separate laws for Jews and non-Jews made indiscriminate arrests without charges, had extrajudicial killings and collective punishment. According to renowned human rights observers, Israeli apartheid is even worse than that of South Africa. Bishop Desmond Tutu said, I have witnessed the systemic humiliation of Palestinian men, women and children by members of the Israeli security forces. Their humiliation is familiar to all black South Africans who were corralled and harassed and insulted and assaulted by the security forces of the apartheid government. Those who turn a blind eye to injustice actually perpetuate injustice. If you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. The Palestinian people, now numbering more than 8 million, live primarily in the Palestinian territory occupied by Israel since 1967, including East Jerusalem, the Gaza Strip, and the occupied West Bank. As well, they live in over 50 refugee camps in neighboring Arab states. The International Day of Solidarity provides an opportunity to focus on the fact that the question of Palestine remains unresolved and that the Palestinian people have yet to attain their inalienable rights as defined by the UN General Assembly. Namely, the right to self-determination without external interference, the right to national independence and sovereignty, and the right to return to their homes and property from which they have been displaced since 1948. In response to the UN's call, governments and civil society globally observe this day with a variety of actions for us in Calgary, this means we stand in solidarity with Palestinian human rights and we affirm the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Movement, also called BDS. In 2005, Palestinian civil society organizations issued a historic rights-based call to the international community for BDS targeting Israel and institutions complicit in its oppressive policies towards Palestinians. This will continue until Israel complies with international law and ensures freedom, justice and equality. BDS promotes time-honored, respected tactics used to achieve social change throughout history, including the U.S. Civil Rights Movement and the South African Anti-Apartheid Movement. We single out the Hewlett Packard Corporation. HP and their spin-off companies have been under international boycott for 10 years for their role in providing services and technologies that enable Israel's brutal military occupation and suppression of Palestinian human rights. HP services and technologies support a population registry and segregated ID system that racially profiles Palestinians. HP supports 
Israel's prison systems, where Palestinians are routinely held without charges and where torture is widespread. HP is the exclusive provider of computers to the Israeli military, which carries out the military occupation, including the devastating naval blockade of the Gaza Strip. Join us in telling the HP Corporation that human rights abuses, occupation and apartheid are bad for business. Let's show them this by pledging to refuse to buy HP products and by spreading the word about HP. Let's make this season HP free. Organizations in the U.S. that have already divested from HP include the Presbyterian Church, United Church of Christ, Quaker Friends Judiciary Corporation, Mennonite Central Committee, and Unitarian Universalist Association. Right now, as we speak, HP Enterprises are hosting their annual Tech Expo in Madrid, Spain. Let's join our BDS friends in Spain to say loud and clear, HP, live up to your stated ethics and principles. HP, end your complicity in Israeli war crimes and human rights violations. We will not buy your products as long as they carry the stench of war crimes, and we will tell the world about your shameful business practices. Join us by using the hashtag BoycottHP and hashtag HPEDiscover on Facebook and Twitter to demand that HP ends its complicity with Israeli crimes and abuses. Thank you.